All right, guys. Welcome to Cattleport Carnage. My name's Chris. And my name's Caden. Today, we're making our way down to our bushcraft camp. We're going to do some squirrel hunting, grey squirrel hunting, which is a non-native invasive species here. But yep. they taste delicious. We're going to do a bit of catch and cook. So stick with us and let's see what happens. Anything to add, Caden? Like and subscribe. And like and subscribe. If you really want to, that is. Only if you want to. Isn't that stunning? The morning sun spilling through the trees. There's nothing better than getting out in nature. There we are guys, nice crisp headshot. With the Titan Hunter. Pull his arms out of his sleeves. And then what we'll do is chop him off at the feet. So there we have him, skinned and got it. Let's get our fire built. Picked up a few more bundles of these and we'll see if we can't make some fire. Alright guys, I found this really long, thin, dead standing piece of ash. You can see here there's no bark at the bottom. The, the deer eat the bark. So this will make some good firewood. A nice big long piece to work with here. I can make some feller sticks out of it, some fine tinder, and I can use the sections of it for cooking on as well. So we'll get that cut up and we'll get our fire going.
there's that deer. Did you see it? Follow deer. It's a doe. Right guys, so as you've seen, making my fire really easy. Um, some guys struggle lighting fires with ferro rods. Feller sticking is a very hard and skilled thing to do to make a feller stick so fine that it would take a spark from the ferro same rod. What I used was a piece of that ash that you see me cutting. I have it all in the fire now. I split it down, battened it down with my kept heart knife. Whenever I got to the inside of it and it was dry and fibrous, where you would start to feller, I took the back of my Alpine nail saw, which is very, very sharp square edge, and I just scraped, and you can actually scrape shavings that are really, really fine. And as you've seen, that took the spark, and I didn't need much small handful to get my fire going. So what I've got here is a piece of green oak that I'm going to cook the squirrel on. Whenever you're kind of spit roasting something like this, it's important to take the uh, bark off because the bark can harbour bacteria, even though it'll be cooked over the fire anyway. You can just skin the end of it. It's going to be in contact with our meat. And that way you're not taking any unnecessary risks. Alright guys, so I'll just show you around camp. We're waiting on our squirrel. Me and Ken built this shelter. You can see it's not all natural materials. But it's about a year old now, it's doing really well. It survived a lot of severe weather. We've got quite a strong roof. And my bed. Through the same hole. Yeah, I'm pretty dialed in. Love this little sling. Right guys, we've got a squirrel cut down beautiful. Just cut a bit off the leg. It's my favourite bit. You can see there, steam. And squirrel meat really is to die for. There's really good eating in that. Would feed. There's a good meal in that for a man. You could stretch it out if you made it with a soup or a stew to feed three or four people. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Let's make our way back. Alright ladies and gents, that's all for this episode, thanks so much for watching, don't forget to give me a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, cheers.